friends, today's What I Eat in a Day Keto and Atkins Fast Pace Style. I'm coming up next. So I am getting ready for an Amazon Live. Uh, some of y'all know I'm an Amazon Live creator, hence the reason why my dress is not fully zipped, but I'm gonna go make some keto coffee. would consider technically to break your fast if you're doing intermittent fasting in the morning because of the stevia extract on the back. Some people have varying opinions on that. Just for me personally with intermittent fasting, I would consider this a fast breaker, but I'm okay with it for today and today with the fast based day that I have going. There is um, 10,000 milligrams of the MCT oil powder. So I'm well, I wanna stay full, honey. I gotta stay full for today's full activities. So. Let's get our coffee and roll one down the road. If you are interested in this coffee, I'll link it down in the description link below, as is my frother. Let's go. How am I gonna do my Amazon Live? I seriously, I cannot zip my dress. Like, no one's home. How, how do you zip, put in the comments below, how do I zip my dress when no one's home? <laughs> I don't know what to do. I didn't end up having the French vanilla kind, which has two carbs in it. And of course, keto is high fat, moderate protein, low carb. If you are new to keto or keto diet for beginners, Check out this video where I talk about macros. Get your own macros for your personal body. Um, you can totally figure it out for yourself with that free link. So in my How to Start the Keto Diet Easily e-course, I talk about the Keto Rainbow Menu Method. It's a method that I use to help me figure out my keto day of eating, of what I'm gonna eat for each meal and how that's applicable for my weight loss journey. So if you're interested in that Rainbow Keto Method Menu Method, it's down in the description link below. But for my keto lunch, we were literally running to go for a hike after my Amazon Live, which ran a little bit over. And so I needed something quick to go, but I wanted something that I would feel full after eating it and um, I wanted something a little bit sweet. So I did end up getting the keto nut butter pouches. I could pop that in my pocketbook to go while we were driving to the mountains to go for an awesome family hike um, and I will link that down below if you're interested in that too. I just finished my Amazon live stream. I'm gonna go ahead and have this for lunch but I'm taking it in my pocketbook to go. I just finished my Amazon live stream. I'm gonna get ready to go with my family. So for my keto lunch, I'm taking the keto on the go. Today's full day of keto eating and what I eat on keto is a fast paced one. So I'm gonna go boot scoot and go ahead and grab my pocketbook and we're gonna go out for a family hike. So for the snickerdoodle one, I had, it was five net carbs, depending on how you count carbs. So it's nine carbs total for that whole keto nut butter thing. Made me so full, which is fabulous. I love feeling full. And I really wanted to feel full going on our hike and not feel shaky or jittery. I wanted to go onto the hike with our family through the mountains feeling good. And I was all jaw jawed up. Um, we went through the Virginia Arboretum. Shout out to Virginia Arboretum. If you are near there, it's an awesome place to go hiking. So we're hiking right now and I wanted to say how many times have you cut short the process by ripping up a flower that's getting ready to bloom don't cut short the process keep going keep doing it but just like that flower was don't rip it up too early too soon let it bloom let it come to fruition So I did my Amazon Live and then, same dress, same dress, got it zipped. Um, I did my Amazon Live and then now I'm gonna go ahead and get some nut butter for my keto lunch. Um, we are gonna go on a hike and so, which is why I'm gonna look all jaw jaw on our hike, but we're gonna go on a family hike and I wanted a quick keto meal that I could take with me and eat in the car before we went hiking.
my keto dinner and my full day of keto eating, I did have three cheese folio wraps, two eggs mixed together. I mixed in some of that Philly meat that I got from Aldi. Um, the whole thing total was nine net carbs for it. So um, I'm still rounding in under 20 net carbs for the entire day. Woohoo! And those cheese folio wraps, I people have asked me on Instagram a lot about them. You can get them at Aldi, Costco, or Harris Teeter is where I've purchased them. But you can probably go to their website and see if they have other locations near you. But for me personally, it's been Aldi in the seasonal refrigerated section, Harris Teeter, which was by the deli section, and Costco, which was near the fruit refrigerator area. It was actually next to the macaroons, so don't get swayed by the macaroons. I did have though, however, I mean, this is Royal Weight Loss Meets Real Life. I was so full after that, but later on in the evening, and normally I don't do this because I really practice intermittent fasting, but I was having some lady times. So gentlemen, you can pull your ears, but for lady times, and I needed something sweet. I was having a sweet tooth, so I did have the perfect keto macadamia nuts. I portion for myself but I actually only ended up having three of the macadamia nuts. I got so full my sweet craving was done I didn't need to eat that whole ramekin full so I literally just had three of the chocolate pecan not chocolate pecans chocolate keto macadamia nuts. It solved my sweet tooth craving that I was having and literally I could just put the breast back and I didn't feel guilty after eating it because I felt so full um, and because of the clean ingredients in it. Also, full disclosure, I used to eat Atkins before I started keto, and Atkins is super important to me. Some people ask me what the difference between Atkins and keto is. Keto, you're intentionally forcing your body into a fat-burning state, which is ketosis, whereas with Atkins, um, you may or may not be forcing your body into the ketogenic state. Cheers! If you found this video helpful, make sure you go check out my biggest mistakes that I made on the keto diet as a beginner and my how to start the keto diet easily e-course, which is down in the description link below. And go check out one of my keto shopping hauls, which is in the playlist down below too. Make it a proud day. Bye friends.